So we're gonna go over and do this level, Super Block Land, which might be a reference to a recent previous game. I'll let you be the judge. Sound a little familiar. It's the theme tuned to, uh, Super Mario 3D Land. And all of this craziness. There's even madness going on up here. Forget about you, freaking Charge and Chuck. You can just do that and bypass all this garbage. Forget actual platforming, I'm just gonna do the game my way. Just ground pound on this and get your first green star. First green star of the level. And there is the stamp actually right down there. And we'd off wonder how one would actually get to such a thing. You just hold the uh, ground pound button down, I guess. We move on to the second half of the level. Not having to worry about any sort of thing regarding a specific green, or green star or stamp. So there's the second green star. Peach comes in handy once again. And also, these freaking charging chucks, man. I'm like, yeah, there's a freaking thing down there. And we had some bombs explode. Make these blocks appear. We can use Peach to get across here and get this uh, green star without needing uh, that there Tanuki Leaf. And another gold flag. This is the world where I'm using Princess Peach quite a lot. But I guess... I guess it is a thing that cannot be helped. And what is next on our journey? Oh, this level! This, this, it's, it's this level. What is this level? Well, the level will be called Honeycomb Starway. And for a change, we'll just use basic Mario strats. So it's an auto scroller. You're given a bunch of boomerang suits. And basically, this level plays like a vertical scrolling shooter, like Galaga or something. And it's actually kind of cool when you don't mess everything up like I just did. So you have to hit that block there in order to get the first green star of the level. This is not a good sign if I can't keep my boomerang suits. Simply for the reason that I kind of need to keep a boomerang suit for uh, the stamp. You will see what I mean when we get there, which will be towards the end of the level. Okay, you basically have to keep it for the entirety of the level. Also, ice physics. I'll go ahead and get the double cherry. And we need to take out all of these enemies here. 
Why, per se, do we need to take out all of these enemies, you might ask? Fucking... Fucking get back here! Are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? Jesus Christ. Alright, once more with feeling. There we go. Now we have successfully collected ourselves a green star. The second one of the bunch. We can continue with the level. It's the path of coins. We have Guy that keeps shooting fireballs. And idiot on the controls that does not know how to throw a boomerang properly. Wow, I keep pressing the goddamn button and it's not doing a sh fucking thing. Shit. I'm like, well, where am I on the goddamn screen? Alright, I need as many of these bitches to die so I can just focus on getting my stamp and getting the hell out of here because there's the box there okay I need to be careful here and gold flag easy peasy well except for that part where I couldn't even get Green Star number two to save my life, and thus took an intentional death, but whatever. We now find ourselves at 266 Green Stars, and we'll move on to the next level. Next level is one that I quite enjoy. It'd be called Gargantuan Grotto. And we'll hit the random button. We're going to be using Toad Strats for this level, apparently. Eh, didn't matter. I was going to lose that power up anyway. So it really doesn't matter if I get hit or not, because th this level's gimmick is all about being a gimmick about uh, the gigantic mushroom. The Mega Mushrooms, as you might call them. As you might know them from fiction. Why would it be a part of absolute fiction? I have no clue. I just make up this bullshit. I don't try to explain it. Also... I want to go up here to get this Mega Mushroom. Because stuff. Way up here, and that's Green Star number two. And there seems to be light going up there. What could that possibly mean? Oh, it just means that there's a pipe here. Grab this mega mushroom, make collecting these coins a hell of a lot easier. So let's uh collect the coins a thon for the final green star of the level. If I remember correctly, yeah, you can't enter the pipe uh while you're mega, so you have to wait until you're not mega anymore. If I remember correctly, this is going to be quite the nasty. Thing in order to get this, uh, or get this gold flag. Especially if I can't land a jump properly. Uh, 
I really don't know why I am doing this. Because normally I just Rosalina strats this. Or Catsuit strats it. But so, you know what? Foo with getting the gold flag here. This was my... It was completely my fault for making the mistake of hitting the random button. And selecting a character. When normally I either pick Peach or Rosalina for that stage. And that is the reason why. I don't know about that. Let's move on to... Peepa's Fog Bog. Just what the hell is a Peepa anyway? I'm go over to Rosalina here. Just because. Not for any particular reason. Other than just because. Well, let's see if I can remember everything I need to do here. Pick up this clock. It's very important to have that 10 in game seconds. Oh, we have a star. And where are we going to use this star, you might ask? Oh, well, all the way over here. Where we have a Captain Toad or some bullshit. He's being haunted by ghosts. But we were able to take them out, and the only way to really do it is with, uh, is with a star. And that is the only star to find there. Uh, but... Uh, we will grant you the first green star of the level. So now that we have that... We don't have to worry about other collectibles. It's green star. There's, uh, not green star, but key number three, key number four. Yeah, all you have to do is hit that pal block. If you're not Rosalina, you can just hit it with a snowball or something. And there's number five. And now we can move on to the second half of the level. Filled with these rafts over poisonous garbage. I could pick up that clock over there, add 100 extra not seconds or whatever to my time, but I really don't need it. up the checkpoint here and the second half of the level is filled to the brim with these things these like bridges that disappear so there is a green star there but we can't get it in the snow so we have to be kind of crafty and throw something at the uh at the green star in order to be able to qualify in order to even get said green star. And I did not even perceive that I picked up that snowball, but that is how one would get green star number three for this level. I am going to try and skip the dash pads because the dash pads make you completely unfreaking controllable. And in a place where I'm like, you know, I kind of want to have some sort of form of control. You know, stuff. Also, I was going to try and think of a place in order to take intentional damage. So that I have no problem doing this here, but... It happens, I guess. So, how am I going to tackle this? Because we actually have one level left to go here in this particular world. But this level is a doozy. So, what I am going to do is I am going to gold flag the previous level. And grab myself two cat suits, so I will be right back. See, that is usually how I strat up that gold flag. 
so yeah, completely my fault for pressing random. Alright, I am all prepared to go now, so this level needs 210 green stars in order to unlock, and well, we have 272. So, the only reason I went back for cat suits was just as a measure of safety. There are cat suits in this level, Cosmic Cannon Cluster, but I wanted to have two on hand already because this level can actually be kind of tricky. I'm going to go Mario strats on this. Simply because what the hell. Why the hell not? Also, wow. What a fucking great start to this level. It's like... Asking how I even play the video game. Also, what is going on? What's going on with these shenanigans? I can't even jump to save my fucking life right now! What am I doing? Yeah. All right, let's 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 actually try running and jumping at the same time. It's a novel concept, I am well aware. Also, what the fuck, dude? So please don't lose this. Okay, so there's the stamp. Quite the easy stamp to get. So, thing here. Get out of here, you stupid spiny. What the hell? I mean, could have sworn there were cat suits here, but whatever. Okay, so... I'm gonna try and do this garbage where I'm going to jump on these cannonballs. Okay, that wasn't so hard. But, uh, that's, that's actually more space to do it as Mario. Which is why I picked Mario. Uh, if you try to do that with any other character, you're going to have an immense amount of trouble doing that. Well, there we go, there's your first green star of the level. And I believe, yep, there's more cannons in here if you are in your cannoning needs. We are going to dodge like this shit like dodging shenanigan man guy. Dodging shenanigan man guy is the best guy around. Also, green star number two is hidden away in this like alcove type thing. So some extra time. Because why the hell not? You can make all of those cannonballs explode if you want. Isn't that nice? But now, we go on our tale of the even worse second half of the level. Face this way in order to hit this block so that we don't go careening off the rails. Also, that that totally hit it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so now I have to be very careful with timing here. See, that is the reason why I have to be very careful with timing. I often move, like, turn around before I actually let go of the thing out of fear that something something really bad will happen or something. Okay. 
So now we're going to get this garbage. Wow, I actually managed to hit it without actually being in the proper position in order... Without actually having the camera in the proper position in order to actually be able to do that well. I am quite surprised. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can't get this, uh... Get this gold flag without having to bust out my cat suit. And as you can see, I am totally failing because I do not know how to time jumps. I know about timed hits, I just suck at them, apparently. Also, that was too early? And if the clock goes below 100, I'm just gonna catsuit this shit. Or if I get hit. Alright, fuck this. There we go. And after many hardships that were dealt with swiftly, the Star World, or World 9 if you prefer, is complete! Surely we're done with the game now, even with all of these missing stamps in our stamp collection. Oh, but there be another rocket ship! Where the hell did that thing come from? A bonus world has opened. Well, it looks like we're going to check out yet another bonus world. We are, in fact, not done with this game. So next time, we go to World 10 and see what the fuck is even up with there being a World 10 in the first place. See you then.